Well, joining me now is Republican Congressman Pete Hoekstra of Michigan. He is the ranking member on the Intelligence Committee and CNN National Security Contributor Fran Townsend. She was Homeland Security Advisor to President Bush and worked in the Justice Department during the Clinton administration. First, Fran, I want to start off with you. Now, these are alleged operatives. They were married couples. They had kids. They lived in the suburbs, blended into American society beautifully. Does it surprise you at how entrenched they were in American culture? Not at all, Suzanne. In, in fact, I mean, it's the sort of really good tradecraft uh, that you want. You want a long background and legend to people so that if anybody digs in or is asking questions, that they have references, that they can really d d survive sort of the base scrutiny that you go through in everyday life. Um, and so, you know, and the Russians are very good at this. I mean, obviously, we've seen from statements from Vladimir Putin, he's very angry. But I, I said to someone, I think he's angry they got caught because he didn't realize we were that good. This has been a long-term investigation. And the FBI deserves a good deal of credit for uncovering them. These are not easy cases. But Fran, are these actually, uh, did they get any useful information or are they basically low-hanging fruit? Well, you know, it's funny, Suzanne, there's a big investment in these sorts of clandestine covert agents. Um, but what you do is you look for them to, to report over many decades. I mean, it's a long-term investment, and a lot of times they're gathering open source information that's not easily available. Um, it's not as traceable if they gather it here. They're making contacts. They want to meet influential people. And they're trying to assess people for recruitment over a long period of time. Um, so I actually think it's a pretty important operation for them. Congressman, I want you to weigh in on this. Uh, how how concerned are you that this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to spy inside of the United States? Oh, I don't uh, worry at all about that, whether it's the tip of the iceberg or not. I know it's the tip of the iceberg. Not only are the Russians involved in this, the Iranians are involved in these types of activities. The Chinese are very uh, involved in these types of activities. We just had a successful prosecution earlier this year of you know a Chinese sleeper. And Fran is absolutely right. These countries have invested you know, significant amounts of time, energy, and personnel to get people planted here today so that maybe in 5, 10, or 15 years, they only need one of these people to pay off and get an important penetration uh, and provide them with real significant and valuable information. This is the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more of this going on. Uh, who is the most, uh, who are the most dangerous spies? You, uh, Congressman, you had mentioned the Chinese, the Iranians. Either one of you jump in here. Do we know who's the most dangerous when it comes to getting uh, our state secrets? Well, well I, I mean, I'm... Go ahead, Congressman. Okay, I mean, from my perspective, I think both the Russians and the Chinese are very, very aggressive. They are very good. They're not only targeting military and intelligence areas, but they are also targeting our research universities. There's cases where we are well aware of that they have stolen our secrets, they've stolen our information, and they've patented it before we've ever known that they've taken it. That's right. I mean, I, I agree completely with the congressman. The other thing I would mention that they target is our commercial, our technology. Um, you know, our, our com American companies invest a lot of money in R&D, um, and we know that the Chinese and Russians are very aggressive about targeting what in this country is they can get through commercial relationships or on open sources, but what's restricted from transfer outside the country. And so that's another one of the benefits uh, that they, these sleepers can establish commercial relationships that really steal our intellectual property. And Fran, covering uh, President Bush and uh, we know that the focus has really been on fighting uh, terrorism going after the terrorists trying to uh, unveil these plots if you will how much of the resources that we have are going into fighting terrorism disrupting those plots as opposed to going after these spies who are gathering information year after year after year uh, and do they compete with each other well, there, there's always, you know, in, in a world of limited resources, there's always some prioritization that goes on. But under President Bush, we established the Na National Counterintelligence Center. Uh, it's now headed by a former deputy director of the FBI, Bear Bryant. There is a counterintelligence division of the FBI, and this gets tremendous priority. I mean, I can remember when the Bush administration first came in, briefing attorney, then Attorney General Ashcroft about that Robert Hansen case. I mean, there are a lot, there's a lot of expertise, a lot of depth, and a lot of resources are put against this because it's a very serious threat. Congressman, do, do you get a sense of how many people there are actually in the United States who are involved in spying? And is that the most dangerous type of person who's collecting information? Or is it the, uh, is it the person in their basement who's trying to hack into a computer? 
Well, I think what you've got in a free society, we are a target-rich environment. Uh, when you take a look at the long list or types of you know, counterintelligence activities, uh, espionage, or threats uh, into the United States. I think you're talking in the hundreds of people that are doing this, people from Russia, China. But, you know, we're also now worried about, as you said, the cyber attacks, which can happen from the United States or can really happen from any place in the world, and we can't identify exactly where those threats are coming from. You know, we may also have the same kind of sleeper cells uh, here from Hezbollah, Hamas, Al-Qaeda, who are not here to steal intelligence, but are here someday to attack the United States. Uh, and as Fran said, there is a robust activity with the FBI, the intelligence community, going after these types of threats at the same time as we are trying to identify the military threat. We just need to make sure that all of the folks that are involved in this are working together, and I think they are. All right, Congressman Hooks, Fran Thompson, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Great, thank you. The mystery surrounding.